Hi, today I'm talking about German chamomile. German chamomile is one of those herb teas that's really good for nervousness, insomnia, and particularly used for uh, medicine for children to help them sleep, to help soothe them when they're upset, to help them through teething. I heard a good idea the other day make a strong chamomile tea out of the flowers or just the tea bags if that's all you've got or the dried tea and make them into ice cubes and then children can suck on the ice cubes as a way of calming themselves. I thought that was a great idea. It's an annual. It, there's two things about it. It either grows radically fantastic and it just keeps coming up every year from dropping seed or the humidity of the wet season, especially in these subtropical conditions, bashes it on the head and it all just rots out. So some people say it's easy to grow and some people say it's hard to grow. It depends on the weather. Just keep planting it, just keep planting new seed and eventually you'll get a batch that works. It grows by seed, very, very fine seed. You even have to mix the seed with um, seed raising mix and sprinkle it so that it's got a good co ground coverage. Uh, it, apparently it's better to pick the flowers in the morning before they've been in the sun for hours and hours and hours so that's a good thing to know. You can chop the flower head off and it does get bushier so you can kind of prune them although they end up growing in a big kind of sprawling flower falling over mat but that's just the way it is. Uh, it's got that really ferny, beautiful, pretty, kind of like a fennel leaf. So it's actually a really lovely lime green, pretty ferny leaf in a cottage garden. So even if you're not going to use it for tea, grow it as a cottage garden plant because it looks sweet and pretty. So that's it. That's German chamomile.